just the way the children's carousel, the chestnut tree, the wishing well. I see you in the think influenced you the most? Although um, you're so unique, I mean, it's just... Well, I loved Eddie Bikuri and all those singers of that era, but Eddie Gourmet, whenever she would do the high things at the end and stuff, and, and uh, I tried to oh, learn yeah, to swing. Uh, somebody at Capitol, when I was just starting out, I did that album with Nelson Riddle on the 17. I tried to, to think of how, how it is to, to swing, so I just listened to people, and one of the big ones I was to was Ella, you know, just to learn how to swing. Because it was, I don't know if it's not that I knew, uh, country music is kind of has good time and everything, but it was just something that I thought, I thought I needed to do from the very first albums, try to learn to swing. Mm -hmm. And over the years, I think um, maybe I got better at it. Yeah, yeah. And what impressed me so much is how casual you are. I felt like I was in your living room. It's not of the diva stuff. It was like, yeah, I'm sitting here for my friends. Is, is that what you're trying to get across because well, it really comes across very well, strong. I hope that is true because it's so important for me. I, I love the musicians and, 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 but I, I don't want to sing for them. I want to sing for people. I want to tell stories for people. I want them to take journeys with me or maybe touch them. Somewhere. And sometimes I think when you're too much of a jazz singer you, you kind of have a tendency mm. to get inside yourself and, and hope that they'll come along but I just want to everybody to, to be there first and then if I want to do something a little far out or whatever, they'll go with me because I've already, I've already embraced them. Exactly. To do. And I like doing it when I, when I love to look at people and to get the exchange. I teach and I always tell people, so <laughs> I, 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 I always think, I say uh, to, to my students, um, you're a performer but you're a person first. And if you can combine those two things, be a person and a performer. When you start to sing, if you become a real person, and they can identify with you and say, I like her, or whatever, then they'll go with you wherever you want to But you have to be a person. You teach um, interpretation, you teach, uh, what do you, as no, far as, or I go, I singing from the gamut, I've got wonderful exercises. So I, I, I go for the first 15 minutes with exercises with them. And um, most of the people that come to me want to learn the great American song mm -hmm. or jazz, but I, I don't teach scat, I don't teach any of that. It's just lyrics and, and just singing a song. And, um, but we do exercises and we do technique, but then we, we also interpret the songs. Because your phrasing is magnificent. That's great. Well, again, you know, with my students and, and things, and, and teaching has helped me relearn 
what it made me that I knew that, that you know, it's, it's, it's kind of... And I always say to them, if you ever want to phrase a song, speak it first, you know, you'll see where you'll pause. You can pause that in a song as well. It's like, it's like speaking a song. Mm. Let it be musical. But, but if you actually say, um, oh, I can't say, I'll say, he was too good to he was, he was too good to me. You can put that phrase by, by saying, he was too good to me. And when you speak the words as though you're an actor, so you're doing them on stage as, as a dialogue, that can be applied to the music of phrase.